family, Dave here. It was great to uh, gather together this morning together and worship Jesus and be encouraged by his word and built up, uh, praying that God will continue to stir his spirit in us, that we will continue to walk in the power and the strength of his might and in all the plans and the purposes that he has for us. And I keep getting stirred a lot recently that God's desire is that um, that none will perish and that there's an expectation that we can and should have that of seeing people saved on a on a regular basis if not a daily basis and so something that i'm pressing in for praying into and and wanting to walk in myself and, and encourage you guys with so I really believe for your family for your friends for those around you that, that you work with or go to school with that the presence and the power of god can and will change lives and that we need to be bold and strong and courageous for him in the fight against the principalities and powers and darkness and and, and really i guess that was the heart of the the message uh, that we had this morning i uh, just want to mention um some other bits and pieces uh, you would have already hopefully got an email unless it went to your junk uh, about the fact that we've got a couple of banks open for the charity side of things so for powwow and powwow and the church as a whole we're still waiting for the bank for the tea rooms the business bank really hoping and praying that will come through in the next day or so so please pray into that but it's great that we've got those banks open we've also got our money from barclays which we we were able to pay into the the co-op bank um and we can start i mean there's still lots of little bits and pieces it's been a, a pretty big and a long task to get sorted um but we've still got little bits and pieces still to go um but generally it's getting there um and we can start setting up bits and pieces thank you also as i put in my email for continuing to give during this time and we really do value that and uh, and trust that God will continue to use that for the, for the good of the church. Um, if you did and do or want to give by either online or standing order, it was all on that email. The bank details are on there. Please do get those things set up uh, and running as before. Um, and uh, hopefully um, we'll be able to get other bits and pieces sorted out and then the tea rooms bank set up as well. And um, I wish we were super helpful with moving things forward. So again, thanks for that. Keep praying into that and that God will use this this time for for, for our good as well. Um, I'm sure he wanted us to, to make some changes and move things around. So it's helped us to do that too. Uh, the other, th other last few things I just want to mention is that we have a, an extra prayer, prayer gathering tomorrow. That's Monday at our house at seven o'clock. That's really centered around community living and the stuff that we've been talking about a number of months ago. Uh, had a little break over the summer, but want to kickstart that again. So that's an extra prayer gathering at ours at seven for community living. And also I just want to plug the, in particular, the light party, which is not this Tuesday, but next Tuesday. I said you light party, it's not really a light party, but uh, the gathering that we're going to have during ha Halloween, it's going to be at Powwow on, on the night of Halloween. So not this Tuesday, the week after. Uh, we're going to call it just Truth and Treat, something that we've done before where we're, uh, there's going to be a few things going on. We'll have an opportunity to uh, give out um, kind of tracks and stuff about the truth of Jesus uh, and treat sweets with them so we can use it for, obviously for sharing the gospel when we're at powwow and going out onto the streets so the big idea is that we're opening up power at six o'clock we're inviting everyone to come from youngest to oldest uh, there will be some crafts and games and uh, testimony talk uh, there that will be suitable for the kids so bring your young kids as well bring their friends along there is no I said light party, there is no light party this year. We're, we're going to combine it all to sort of like one big family gathering. Um, so, yeah, bring the kids along. There'll be something for them. Obviously, they can stay back and uh, with any adults that want to as well. And they can engage with the different crafts and games and other bits and pieces that are going on. Uh, they're also welcome to come out, you know, as long as they're with, with you or with a, with a responsible adult. Uh, so the idea will be is either during that time or after it, there looks to be an opportunity for people to be praying, uh, but also for people to be going out uh, and sharing the good news on the streets of the Kingsway. Uh, it's an interesting one halloween some christians say you know avoid it others say embrace it um i don't kind of sit with either of those two but i, I talk about redeeming it i think there's an opportunity that during this dark day which has kind of been hijacked by satan and, and there's no doubt there's a lot more demonic work and activity and satanists and paganists and all kinds of stuff are doing much more activity on that night well you know our belief is well let's us christians come and really raise the the spiritual game within the church let's be praying against the spiritual forces let's be going out and speaking out against the spiritual forces so that's what we kind of see uh, as it's an opportunity it's an opportunity to shine light in the darkness so come along that's six o'clock powwow uh, for, for truth and treat evening something for everyone for the whole family bring your friends 
the kids and all those like along to that as well. I, j I just want to add one other thing, which um, I think is important to just to mention. You you would have heard it kind of talked about a fair few times over the last few months, but that's our Friday night uh, youth cafe in Street Reach. It, it's been really great having people coming along, praying, being part of that. I know some are, are making cookies for it, which we really value. Um, and I just want to kind of highlight it so it's not forgotten. There's still opportunity to come and be part of that. You can either come and just uh, go upstairs and pray for us while we're out and about and doing things, or you can come and be part of the actual cafe, helping to serve and talking to anyone that comes in, or you can come out with the team or go out with the team that goes out sharing, giving out flyers, sharing to the young people, Jesus, and inviting them to be part of the youth cafe. There, there really is something for everyone. Uh, and also, obviously, there's still room if you if you want to get involved in baking. So I just want to highlight that again. It, it, you know, Ben and Emily have been really driving that, and it's a, it's a vision that God's placed on their heart and we really believe in too. We believe God wants to do great work amongst the young people. So if you do have young people or know young people to be part, you know, get them to come and be part of it or be praying into it or come and get involved in some way. So I just wanted to plug that as well um, so that we can be still uh, involved in that in some way.